so um, this is the new location. Um, not quite moved in yet. I'd show you around. As you can see, I got this shelf back here. It's uh, getting populated right now. But I was getting ready to throw all these PS2 games, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. I got an episode of Vag to film, and a large portion of these games are Sega Genesis games. So as you can see back there, I do have my uh, Sega Genesis games uh, alphabetized and ready to go. But it's like, wait, I've had these other ones sit to the side. So uh, let's go ahead and take care of these so that I don't have to bump too much shit down as I put these uh, Sega Genesis games in. This is probably not what uh, future episodes of Badger are going to look like uh, sitting behind the desk because I'm probably going to have my monitors right here. So I could, in theory, do it right here. I don't know. This is kind of a cool setup. I like having this. I could. I don't know. I don't know what my setup's going to look like. The PC's still at the old Terror Dome location. I'm at the, as of yet, unnamed uh, secondary location. Well, I guess this is now the prime location. I've been living here about a month. Um, but things are coming along. Uh, if you want to follow the progress as it happens, check out my Instagram. That's instagram.com slash jerryterrifying. If you have the app, look me up on the app. It's jerryterrifying. Uh, at me, as the kids might say. I don't know what the fuck those twerps are saying. But um, I do post updates as I get things done and uh, the thing I got done today was this desk I have not yet taken pictures of it um, but that'll probably go up before this video comes out because the computer is at the old house and I have no way to edit and upload this until I get the computer over here that'll hopefully happen sometime this week but let's follow my Instagram you can see the updates and stuff so, I was going to my house, I was going to the old house, and stopped at a garage sale right around the corner. Didn't see anything interesting, but when I got there, I saw these. Ugh, just sitting there. And, uh, let's do it this way. And many, many cardboard Sega Genesis games. So we got Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. That's cool. Really pristine condition on this. Uh, looks real nice. I like the cardboard Sega Genesis games. I like these. So we got that. Uh, the six pack. Now back in the day when I was looking at game facts all the time, this was the number one recommended. It's like, oh, just go to Genesis. What do I get? Everyone says, get this. And I have this, but it's a loose cartridge. So now I got complete with the manual, um, pretty good condition, not as, not as nice as Street Fighter, but this is cool, I like this, and I got a manual for it. Uh, good game, if you are just getting a Sega Genesis, it's you know, inexpensive to get a loose copy. It's got Golden Axe, Sonic the Hed Hedgehog, Revenge of Shinobi, Column, Super Hang On, Streets of Rage. Solid title. Glad to have it complete. The Page Master. Um... I think that's Macaulay Culkin right there on the cover. <laughs> um, it's dinged up right here, you know, whoopty shit. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 cardboard box variant. According to uh, Cuddy Game Collection, if if I have the uh, wherewithal, I'll put an at Cuddy game collection somewhere on screen. He says this is a good find. This is one of the harder versions of Sonic to get. It's in decent condition. Um, so, I guess I'll be keeping this. And then, The Lion King already have it. Mortal Kombat 2 already have it. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 already have it. But I figured I can sell or trade these. They're not worth... I can sell or trade these. They're not worth much. Uh, or, you know, I'll keep whichever one's in better condition. Um, she was asking $2 a piece. I said, would you do 10? Uh, there's seven titles here, so that's 14 bucks. So would you do 10? She said, how about 12? And I was like, okay, lady, fine. 
$12. Would have been happier if it was 10 But I do like good condition uh, Sega Genesis games and the cardboard boxes. So, four of these will be going on the shelves. This will be going in my first sale trade box or whatever. It'll be going away. So then, went over to Kyle's house. We did some dealings. I actually got a big stack of laser discs that's back here. Um, there's about 22 of them. I gave him 20 bucks. He paid 10 for them. You know, yeah, for his effort, hauling them around, laser discs. Yeah, we can do. Who the fuck has laser discs? Um, if one person asks to see the laser discs, I will make a video going through all the laser discs. I did watch Under Siege. Uh, there's also Under Siege 2 in that stack, and um, that was fun. There's a couple other uh, interesting movies I've already watched, but if one person asks, just one, if one person says, hey, I'd like to see those laser discs, I'll make a video and I'll go through all the laser discs. So anyway, I was at Kyle's house for that. Um, he got a huge Game Boy score, and... I guess I was leaving, I had some change in my pocket, and I, I fucking hate carrying change in my pocket. And I was like, okay, Kyle, I'll give you this miscellaneous amount of change in my pocket for Space Invaders. Uh, what makes this game interesting is that included on it, uh, see, this is a Super Game Boy Enhanced title, and if you play this, on the Super Game Boy, you can unlock the full Super Nintendo version of Space Invaders. Cool stuff. I think it was like 84 cents. Um, I don't know. And then the last thing I got, this is from Walmart. Uh, it's because I like the series. I've heard it's not that great, but I have all the other North American versions and, and games in the series, so i got to get this one. Um, I planned on getting it day one to support the series, but I was broke as fuck at the time. And I figured, hey, 20 bucks at Walmart, it's time to move on Star Ocean 5. So I got Star Ocean 5. Got the day one edition like six months later. Okay, now I can throw all this crap on the shelf behind me. Um, I do think in the future I will... See, now I've got space. All right? I've got a desk to sit behind. I've got a little bit of room to uh, monkey around with. i got all these tripods. So I think I might uh, set up and do a two-camera show. I might just do Mondo Cool TV from, from the desk um, and stop trying to pretend like I've got the talent to mess with the green screen. But uh, let's get the PC over here. I'll have a little bit more time, so I won't be spending my time in two different locations. So whenever I have a minute, I can come down and work on the project. I've got tons of notes for uh, Mondo Cool TV. And uh, so I'm going to start working on it as soon as I can. But right now I've got several boxes of games over here. It's going to go on these shelves. Now these are the uh, DVD case height shelves that I built. Six foot by six foot uh, wide and high. And uh, this should take care of most of my stuff that's this size. I guess it's a Blu-ray size, but DVD size, DVD size and higher should fit in there. Well, not taller. So I'm gonna I'm gonna build a separate shelf for my Saturn, Sega CD, and Neo Geo games. It's gonna be a smaller shelf. It's gonna have a little bit of room to grow, but not too much because I don't see that collection growing too fast. Um, then I'm gonna build next up though. I'm gonna build a CD case size shelf so I can move over my move over my Nintendo and. DS and all that little shit. And then that shelf will go somewhere. I don't know. Um, I got my other Trinitron that needs moved over. I need to get a cart. I'm going to get a wheeled cart for my uh, HD TV. I'm going to put that in this corner right here. Probably right on this wall. I'm going to have uh, some shelving for my HD systems. My Xbox and Wii plus HD systems. My component cable and up systems. Um, yeah, if it wasn't an absolute shit show with a thousand boxes and bags on the floor, I might be inclined to show you around. But if you're interested in what's going on, um, you can 
go to my Instagram. I've got a picture of these shelves when they were built. I'm going to take a picture of the desk, and I'm going to take a picture of these shelves when they're populated. That shit's going to come out before you see this video. But, you know, stuff usually hits the Instagrams first. There's actually an Instagram of Space Invaders being played on the Super Game Boy, the Super Nintendo version. You can check that out. Leave it a heart. Like it, because I get a kick out of it when people like my Instagrams. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this episode of Vag. I just wanted to get that out of the way, because it's been a few weeks um, that I've had these games sitting here. Probably two, two or three weeks they've been sitting around. But now I've got all my Master System and Genesis games back here alphabetized and shelved, so i got to fit these four in. And uh, I was like, oh yeah, I need to get that done, because it's going to bump all the shelves down, and so... I had to get this done now. And it's been a while, so hopefully sometime this week I will get my computer over here and uh, edit this video and upload it. Maybe work on a Mondo Cool TV project. But, thanks for watching. I'm Jerry Terrifying. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, ask a question. Tell a friend. I don't know. Do whatever you do on social media these days.